Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Hard to call it a nice spring night when it feels every bit of like summer outside across the area here on this Friday night. Let's talk about your weather headlines here as we head into Mother's Day weekend. It's going to continue to feel like summer. That's not going to change for us here as we head into Saturday and Sunday. What will change is our opportunities for rain. They look a little bit higher over the weekend. That said, it's pop up, hit and miss showers, not a washout. And I would not, at this point, my advice, I wouldn't cancel my outdoor activities. I would just anticipate that hey there could be a maybe 10 to 15 minute you know interruption there where you have to run inside but then you'll be able to go right back out again this isn't going to be a complete washout and i don't see a lot of rain across the area this weekend just a little bit more than what we've had the past couple of days and this will make our way towards a cooler next week for us across the area outside tonight temperature still hovering right around 70 degrees at the airport we've got ourselves a light south wind out there one thing you'll notice over the next couple of nights here Humidity levels will be a little bit higher, so it will be a little bit muggier, just a tad, not the extreme summer humidity that we're accustomed to, but it will be noticeably more humid here during the next couple of evenings. 72 up in Connorsville, 70 in Brooksville right now, 70 Loveland, 72 in Florence. So most areas are hovering right around 70. Some of the more cooler locations, Batavia 67, Harrison at 64, 69 down there in Georgetown. Again, this is what's going to happen. The weather pattern is not going to change much, but it's going to shift ever so slightly. And by shift, I mean this cold front that's out to our west is going to creep its way a little bit closer towards the Ohio River and the Ohio Valley. And that will leave us a little more susceptible to afternoon and evening thunderstorms. It will add that additional focus that we've been missing all week. It's still going to be plenty of warm, and there will still be plenty of sunshine thrown in there as well. Now, I thought this would be interesting because the tropics are getting off to an early start this year. Typically, we don't start talking tropical weather in the Atlantic to really about June 1st. So we're a couple of weeks ahead of schedule, but we've got subtropical storm, Anna. It's not a tropical storm, meaning that the core of the system, not purely tropical, it still has some subtropical characteristics, meaning that it's more like an intense area of low pressure than an actual tropical storm. But that said, watch out down there around Myrtle Beach and up through the Carolinas this weekend. This system will impact. These areas, including the outer banks of North Carolina, but notice it's a long ways from Ohio and won't have any impact on our weather. Here's a look at Futurecast. Show you tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies. Notice as we go through the afternoon, pop up showers and storms, but again, notice the entire map is not covered. That's what I mean by they will be hit and miss across the area. They'll go away once the sun set, and then on Sunday, we'll do it all over again, and we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms develop for Mother's Day. I will say this the best chance to get wet this weekend will be farther west across the area. So the farther west you are, maybe across southeast Indiana, say Versailles, you'll have a better chance than over in maybe Hillsboro for example. 63 for a low tonight underneath partly cloudy skies. It'll be a mild night. And then tomorrow, warm sunshine, pop-up storms, 84 for a high. Here's your day planner, 67 at 8 a.m., 80 by lunchtime and into the mid-80s tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, still very summer-like around here. We should only be in the low 70s. We'll get back to the low 70s early next week. That's after a cold front on Monday, which will bring us a good shot at storms. Otherwise, Mike and Sheree, this weekend, it's hit-and-miss activity, so you'll still be able to enjoy some of your outdoor events and activities. All right, sounds good, Kevin.